the name of the land was not called Egypt. It was called Misraim, right? But they called it Egypt. Why did he call it Egypt, right? Read. The book, the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Is that word again, out of the land of Egypt. Read. Out of the house of bondage. Meaning out of slavery. You can, if you take any Merriam-Webster dictionary or look up the word bondage on your phones, it will say slavery. So when he said, you know, I took you out of Egypt, I took you out of slavery. So now we go back to Deuteronomy 28th chapter and read this curse. We just came out of slavery. And if we didn't hearken to the most high God, he was going to take us back into Egypt. Read it again. Deuteronomy 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Slavery. Again, again, with ships. So, look at this sign, real quick. Come close, come close, right? Look at this sign, right? The Bible says that we will go into slavery again on ships. Who did that happen to? What race of people did that happen to? It happened to us, right? But the Bible saying this will happen to the Jews, the real Jews, the Israelites, according to the Bible. That's right. So, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question, right? Who calls themselves Jews today? Teach. What they look like? They look like me and you? What they look like? They look like Caucasians, right? White people, right? When have they ever went into slavery on ships? Because the Bible says if they're the Jews, they had to go into slavery on slave ships. When did one of them go into slavery on ships? Yep. Never. So by default, let's just play a process of elimination. If this happened to me and my people, but it didn't happen to those Ashkenazi Jews over there. And, and by the way, I'll accept that because this is called anti-Semitism by them. Just saying that they don't fit the prophecy of the Bible is anti-Semitic, according to them. But the Bible says this, the Jews went into slavery on ships, right? So they didn't go into slavery on ships, right? But we did, right? So who are the Jews? We are. That's, that's baby town frolics, right? That's one and one equals two every time, right? So how is that anti-Semitism? And why is it that a man like Nick Cannon or Deshaun Jackson can say that thing and now he gets fired from his job? You know, so he gets fired from his job. His livelihood is over. His livelihood is over. My man Ice Cube said, not Ice Cube, T.I. said that um, Nick Cannon got fired from his job faster than a, than a person. A police gets fired for killing an unarmed black man. So I can get fired from my job for saying, the Bible says black people are the Jews, and I could lose my job faster than a murderer. Wow. Than a murderer. Bring it up. So you tell me that's righteous. You tell me that's you tell me God's dealing with them when the Bible says that God is a God of judgment, righteous judgment. Unjust balances are not delightful to God. He hates that. Bring it out. So how can these people be the people of God when everything they do is contrary to what God says? Right. They can't be. They the only I don't know, maybe it's me. The only thing I can think of is that they're probably the devil. They're probably the devil. Because only the devil would do that. But maybe maybe I'm wrong. Give me, give me Revelations 2. Watch this. Revelations 2 and 9. Let's see. Because like you said, it's Jews calling themselves Jews today, right? Right. They call themselves Jews. But it's, it's people today living in modern day Palestine, right? That call themselves Jews. And they run everything. They run everything. Right? Watch this. Read two and nine. Revelation chapter two verse nine. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty. So we're gonna stop there, right? So the Jews, according to the Bible, would be in poverty. They would be afflicted. And I don't mean like because today afflicting a so-called Jewish man today is saying that they're not the real Jews. Mm. That's affliction to them. <laughs> that but that but how do we get afflicted? Like, affliction to me is, I'm walking down the street coming from the store, and a policeman says I look like somebody, and they like jump on me, put their knee on me, and they about to kill me. And I was just going to buy a drink. Or I was just trying to make it home to my son, or to my wife. That's affliction. But, hey man, did you know that the real Jews are black? Blasphemy! Anti-Semitism, he's racist! It's not affliction. At, at most, it's a disagreement. At, at, no, I'm sorry, at the least it's a disagreement. At the most, it's truth. Right. That's what it is, right? But watch this, read. And I know the blasphemy. I know the lies of them uh -huh. which say they are Jews. Because there's a people that call themselves Jews, right? 
God says, I know the lies of them that say they are Jews. Because you can say anything. I can say I'm a, uh, what my man say on the drink? My man said I'm a, uh, a white lesbian. I'm a white lesbian. Because <laughs> I can say that. You know, today you can be anything. I can, I can grow up and be a spoon. I can be a stop sign. I can be an Escalade. <laughs> You know, there's no limit to what I can be. You, when, I, when I grow up, I can be anything takes on a new meaning today. Anything, because I can literally be a, Dad, I want to be a blade of grass when I grow up. Is that okay? Jeez. And you can be that. Because the world tells you you can be anything you want. So that's stupidity. That's, I can't be a blade of grass. And if I, if I could, my life expectancy is two weeks. Two weeks, <laughs> two weeks tops. So why the hell would I want to be a, ba a blade of grass? It's stupidity, right? But watch this. There's a people calling themselves Jews, right? And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews uh -huh. and are not. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Right? This is in Revelations, right? You don't get no more into the Bible than this. And the Bible says that there's going to be a race of people today calling themselves Jews, but they're not the Jews. Bring it out. Bring it out. That's what the Bible says. Bring it out. If we shall just read the Bible, mm -hmm. the Bible says, seek ye out a book of the law and yeah, read. read. Mm -hmm. For years we couldn't read. So now that we can, I mean, I don't know, maybe we should try it. That's right. We should try it a little bit, see see what we can gain about reading. Because the Bible we've been ignoring for years just said there's a people walking around calling themselves Jews. Come come up here, sis. Come on, it's all for you, sis. You know about the Jews today? I do. Do you believe that they're the Jews? I do. The, like today, the, the white people in Palestine? No. Oh, okay, all praises. Well, we, let's see what the Bible says. You believe in the Bible? I do. All praises, sis. Watch what the Bible says about today's Jews. Start from the top. Verse 9. I know thy works uh -huh. and tribulation Read. and poverty, Read. but thou art rich. Uh -huh. And I know the blasphemy uh -huh. of them which say they are Jews Read. and are not. They're not the Jews. White people are not the Jews. You know how you know that? Let's, let's use a little bit of common sense, right? The, the so-called Middle East, modern day Palestine, Israel, whatever, right? It's in Africa. We know that, right? right. The Bible also says that the Jews were going to slavery. So let's stop at, at slavery. What white people you know are going to serve in chattel slavery and, and survive? You know, they might be extinct, you know? And one day they will be. But, you know, that's... that's I'm going to drop that nugget there for you, sis. One day they will be eradicated from existence. We'll wake up and be like, you know, Dad, there was some, some pink people running around. <laughs> oh, stop, silly son. There's no such thing as pink people. That's going to be the reality one day. Not yet, but one day we ain't going to have to worry about pink people putting our sons and daughters to death. Right. Right. right? So it's a people yeah. calling themselves Jews, but they're not. But who are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. They're the church of the devil. That's right. You know how you know they're the church of the devil? Because the Bible says Christ looks like that. The white people taught you Jesus looks like me. That's why I say we love them. That's why today anybody says anything about that white man, who's the first one to his aid? Us. Yeah. No, no, that's racist. But it wasn't racist when they was like lynching us. Right. It, it wasn't it, you know, you know how, how how simple we are? Because if I say that the white man's the devil, people in my own community are gonna come against me. But five people can get lynched, and the white man tell you, oh, they committed suicide. Right. All of them committed suicide? Bring it up. Every single one of them. And then they committed suicide in like the, the most unlikely places, like in front of uh, City Hall. Right. Who commits suicide in front of City Hall? And let's say he did commit suicide in front of City Hall, right? Are there not, this, that's a government building, right? right? Are there no cameras there? So if he committed suicide in front of City Hall, how easy would it be to prove he committed suicide right. by just going to get the footage? Right. But no footage comes out. Five black men get hung and they all committed suicide. And we believe it. You know what? Yeah, because Jesus said they committed suicide. And I love Jesus because Jesus is white and all right. That's what we believe. Right? But Jesus is not white. Right? Nor is he okay with the lynching of his people. It only makes sense, right? But I'm going to show you something, sis. I'm going to show you why we don't value ourselves. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, right? So the Bible says there's a people walking around calling themselves Jews, but they're not. So that means that if he's not the real Jew, there must be a people that are the real Jews, right? Watch this. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord said the Jews are holy people. To him, read, a special people. The Lord thy God have 
chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Right, so right. God said the real Jews would be above all people that's upon the face of the earth. You following me? Wallace, right? You follow me, right? So let's 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 look at some other telltale signs, right? The Jews today, right, they got a lot of money. Billionaires and trillionaires, right? Take their money away and what do they have? Does anybody, is anybody walking around just because Jews are just so cool and popular and fashionable? Is anybody walking around talking about, man, look at them Jews over there. I sure want to do it, right? Who, man, them, them Jewish people, the best dancers and, you know, they, they, they can show play basketball and, dang, you, you see them Jewish people singing, man, it's, it's, woo, Whitney Houston, who? Nah, you gotta holler at my man uh, Habib <laughs> over here, right? He be singing, right? Who, who looks at the Jewish people today and says, I want to be like them? Nobody. But who looks at our people, even on the bottom of society, and says, dang, I want to dress like them. I want, white women want to look like you. The, the entire Kardashian family made a living off of making their bodies to look like our women's bodies. And then going around and getting black men to lay with them. Teach. Right? So who, so let's just, let's just, not, not remove the Bible, but let's just cross this elimination. If there was any people that appear on the surface to be above everybody on the planet, what would they look like? They would look like us. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.